Sintfest France 23. I'm here on the booth of Heritage Modular with Frédéric. How are you? Hi, thank you. I am good. Um, you have a very interesting project here. You have a, made a modular synth. Yes. Y uh, you uh, made it yourself. Yes. And it's not a classical modular no, synth. No, no, it's a very special uh, modular synth. So. Uh, um, the, the goal of this project uh, was to design something with a look and feel of 70s, so with uh, real cables, uh, uh, knobs and so on, uh, wooden case, and, and, but with uh, some um, new uh, technology. So uh, this uh, modular synth is using digital technology and uh, it is developed with uh, pure data software. So uh, roughly you have here uh, some knobs, cables and so on that are uh, uh, used as a controller for a um, digital synthesizer which is hosting here in a small uh, PC which is uh, running uh, pure data software. How, how does this project come alive? I, it is uh, an old idea. I, uh, I intended to, to build my own synth uh, for, for a few years and um, I, I, have I have started by buying uh, existing uh, products to learn and to see how they are working. And when, uh, when it was okay, I decided to, to start this project. So this start project has been uh, started three years ago. So this is a very, uh, very uh, intense work that has been done uh, with, uh, I will say, roughly one hour per, per, uh, per day uh, for three years. Uh, and uh, everything uh, has been designed in, uh, in house. So I am using uh, only uh, amateur technology. So here you have uh, front panels that are designed uh, with uh, 3D printing that have, that have taken a, a lot of time to, to find the, the good parameters so that uh, we can have a, a, good, uh, a good look. Uh, the electronics inside the, the, the scenes are being designed, has been designed also at, uh, at home. And um, the software has been developed uh, with uh, some uh, existing modules uh, uh, available in the Pure Data Library, but also I have designed some uh, specific extensions to Pure Data to be able to do uh, dynamic patching. So when you are uh, unplugging or plugging uh, a cable somewhere else, that, that, is, uh, that will configure automatically uh, the Pure Data software. So it's basically, it doesn't transmit a, trans, a typical information of a model of a Eurac synth. Yes, it doesn't, yes, it doesn't yes, the form factor is Eurac and uh, the bus, uh, uh, inside the machine is a standard Eurac bus, but I am, I am using two, um, two signals to, to, uh, to, um, to transport the digital information uh, coming from uh, the small CPU boards that are running behind the front panels. So uh, it doesn't transmit audio um, from one bus to the another? No, the, 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 the cables here uh, are only uh, transporting an information uh, which is used to, to, um, um, to configure the system. So uh, each connector is broadcasting a signal uh, with uh, the, the, modu the module number and the connector number. And after that, there is some other modules that are receiving this uh, digital uh, information. And then this digital information is sent over um, the, the bus uh, behind the bus inside the machine to configure the, the software. So, uh, in fact, uh, the, the cable uh, virtually uh, is uh, transporting uh, eight voices with bit-side uh, uh, coding, stereo coding, but it is only virtual. Uh, this transport uh, of the audio signal is done inside the software. Okay. And um, how do you uh, manage now to dis that the sand that what that it uh, that it that you recognize the system recognize your the um, that something is plugged in. Is it made with MIDI or what are we yeah, using here? So, so inside the machine, uh, it is using uh, USB BIOS and uh, I2C bus to do the, the, the link with the microcontrollers. And outside the, the, the machine, uh, we are using MIDI over USB or also MIDI over Ethernet. So here you can connect uh, a software like Ableton or so on to do some automation. And when you are uh, driving a knob, there is a MIDI CC which is uh, moving through MIDI to the, the DIW. So you can do automation. And after that, when you play back uh, on the DIW, you simulate uh, the, the, um, the rotation of the knobs so that you can do uh, full automation.
Okay, and uh, so what do you have, you know, in, uh, the, the sound engine is Pure Data. Yes. Is it something you also developed, uh, something new for Pure Data, or is it uh, standard, the, the standard stuff of Most, Pure Data? Mostly I am using a standard library uh, from Pure Data community. So what is nice with Pure Data is it's an open source software with lots of uh, contributors, and you can find many, many different uh, interesting libraries. So for example, here I have a later uh, VCF, and this is a digital model of uh, the LADER, uh, analog LADER uh, filter that has been uh, analyzed by uh, uh, an university and they have developed a, a digital model and this digital model has been implemented in the module in the pure data. So this is what I am using here. So wh what I have specifically developed uh, for this project is mostly the management of uh, cable to be able to achieve uh, dynamic patching. And also I have developed uh, some extension to uh, manage the, the, the multiprocessing uh, needs for this project. So here, the, the processor with 20 models, uh, eight, vox, eight voice. Uh, we, we have, uh, for example, 32 VCO, 32 LFO that are running, 32 VCA, uh, so many, many uh, processing. So, so here, we need to use a multiprocessor architecture to be able to, uh, to manage this load. It is crazy because yeah. it, uh, if you put this in your rack you need to put how many cases and yes and so uh, eight more because you have eight yeah. bucks here uh, you, you need in fact you have virtually eight eight uh, copy of the same scenes mm -hmm. that are stacked so we have, I see you have noise, LFO, class, uh, yes, VCO, uh, ladder, yeah, so yeah, you, have, you have all the standard uh, classical modules so here you have a noise which is coupled with uh, a ladder filter inside you have uh, here four LFO. So four LFO, that means, in fact, 32 LFO, because you have eight volts. Here you have a classical uh, VCO with a sign, uh, uh, triangle, uh, PW, uh, PWM, and so on. You have uh, a LIDAR VCF. You have uh, two here, two ADSR and VCA. Uh, a mixer, because you, have, you can do aussi uh, several timbres at the same time. And uh, on the bottom, you have again uh, the same kind of, of uh, chain. So uh, you have here a wavetable uh, VCO mm -hmm. with uh, 64, uh, it's, it's an eight by eight uh, wave, wavetable uh, configuration. We have morphing between the different wavetable. So you, you can here with the LFO drive the morphing between different wavetables. You have here a SVF. So I, I am calling him Jean Berlin SVF because Jean Berlin is uh, the inventor of uh, this filter, but uh, he ne never appeared on the front panel, so I have decided to put his name here. And you have again some ADSR VCA. Uh, here you have an effect section with uh, delay, reverb, chorus, flanger. And uh, here you have a, another effect which is only delay. And for this configuration, for example, uh, I have. Uh, uh, a, a VCO, which is um, uh, here modulating uh, uh, the delay. So this is uh, generating some very interesting uh, sounds. Can we also hear it? Yes, yes, of course. So, so I am not a musician, so I have tried to, to show you the, the possibility of the machine, but uh, that will be far better with a real uh, musician. So sorry for that. <laughs> So, okay, so uh, I will try with a single, uh, a single note. So here you can, you can hear the filter, the resonance. Here you have a saturation. And this is a polyphonic synthesizer, so you can have several notes at the same time. You can make a chord, so I will make a latch. We can modulate the delay with uh, here a triangle LFO. And we can show you that 
maintenant the, the, the ability to, to drive uh, several uh, timbers at the same time. Uh, here, in fact, the, the keyboard is connected to the bottom section. And uh, what I have latched is uh, some notes that are occurred that have been uh, implemented on the upper section. But also, we can drive at the same time both the latch uh, notes and some new notes. So we can do use uh, LFO to validate the, the frequency of the VCO. Five years of delay. Product or is it, is this uh, 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 just for yourself? Yes, um, yes it's uh, just for fun for now. Um, but uh, if we have many requests for such a product, maybe that will become uh, the future product. But for now, there is no no real plan. So we have done some marketing like a real product for the fun <laughs> to 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 put some value of uh, on this concept. Uh, but for now, it is only a, a true personal project, DIY project. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks very cool because uh, modular and uh, polyphony is always a thing, a, a problem. Um, yeah, I, I, it's very cool, and, and I love also the aesthetics or the, the design of it. It has um, this uh, very vintage uh, style. Okay, uh, so big thanks, Frederick, for your thank showing you, thank your, you for your time. Uh, where you can find uh, more information about this project? Yes, yes, you, you can find some uh, some some information on my uh, my personal site, which is called uh, synthesizer.fr. So maybe you can show uh, here. You have the the URL here. And uh, maybe we can put that in the comment uh, on the video. Uh, so on this website, we'll have some technical information about the design. So here, uh, I have a, a copy of the sideware, but you have a sideware explaining all the, the technology which is behind this uh, synth. 
and uh, you have some uh, demo and uh, some uh, one conference I've made uh, in France uh, a few months ago. Okay, thank you, Frédéric. Thank you. And I wish you a good uh, SIDFest 23. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Yeah. Bye.